Are you still going to bed each night with the same level of excitement in the field that you're in as you were 40 years ago when you're like, holy cow, Peter, thank you for exposing me to this. How, how are you doing? Because it seems to me, listening to your life and, you know, the the, the potential for, for what you're doing, it's really significant, you know, and to be able to affect people's lives, especially if you can shift the needle somewhat with, with Alzheimer's and other chronic diseases, but also from a proactive perspective, that there's so much that it seems that the process that you're involved in can do. Um, what, what's your, your level of excitement? Because then if, if I also frame it, trying to draw the number out of you, mate, um, you know, when we look at those, those metrics of longevity, meaning and purpose consistently comes up. Community, meaning and purpose outside of all the other metrics, but meaning and purpose talking to you and i hope people watch some of the youtube on this um every now and then your eyes light up when you when you like when you spoke about peter just then i could see the, the excitement as you went for a trip down memory lane um it seems to me you still have a lot of meaning and purpose with what you do um is it at all waning or, or are you thinking you know what this is what's next i need to get to brisbane australia and like where, where are you in that level of let's say motivation meaning and purpose yeah i'm, I'm still in in that in that what's coming next and how we're going to do it and all that uh although at my age i probably shouldn't be but, but i am screw that mate who says you shouldn't be and we don't know your age anyway um <laughs> but uh you know there was a storm yesterday and i'm on the top of the mountain in literally a, a blizzard you know, it's minus nine degrees and <laughs> it's snowing and the wind is 30 miles an hour. And, so, and, I, and I'm with a friend of mine who is the same age. And, and we're looking at ourselves and saying, what what idiots are doing this thing? <laughs> yeah, but then, then we, you know, after we do a few runs and we come home and we, we're happy because we accomplish something that's, difficult for a much younger people, you know, so, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's satisfying. And, uh, I mean, I, if you, if you, if you lose the purpose, whatever it is, I mean, for me, the purpose is clear, right? but he, people have different views, different purposes and stuff. If you lose the purpose, you, you lose your life. Mm. Yeah, which is, and you alluded towards um, when you were talking about, you know, the, the process of apheresis, everyone's different. Everyone is is unique. Um, but it, one thing that, that seems to come up, which is the magic of, of being human, isn't it? Um, yeah. Meaning and purpose. Like if, if you lose purpose, my, my dad, um, he was a builder. He built houses. And I never forget one day. He was talking about it when he got to a certain age, a lot of his his mates, his colleagues that he, he worked with, electricians, plumbers, bricklayers, for example, were starting to retire. And I'll never forget my dad said to me this day, speaking about a certain gentleman, he said, the, the moment that, and, and here I am unshaven, which is giving you a, a snapshot into the story, but my dad said, the moment they stop shaving, mate, is the, the moment they start to go down, their health starts to go down because maybe they don't care anymore, they've lost meaning and purpose, they're not looking after themselves. Um, so there's so many metrics of ageing. But but then if then if I flip that back to you, you're the, the two idiots on the on the top of the mountain, when you got when you walked in that afternoon, did you answer that question? Said, were the two idiots and high five for doing it. Um, but if I was to say to you, What's your meaning, purpose, your goals, your dreams for the next five years? What would they be? To open enough clinics and uh, raise the economy of scale so I can uh, make this treatment cheaper and available to more people. Nice. And then... I mean, we are working, we are working on other additions to the plasma freezes that may enhance the the effect of the plasma phoresis. We are working on that. It's obviously research uh, that is very interesting and 
I hope it pans out. Obviously, we don't know yet, but uh, but if it does, it will just enhance the whole process. Uh, so making it scalable and uh, affordable. And then following on that last statement, searching for complementary or supplementary treatments or processes that can make it even better. Yes. And is there anything you could share in that at the moment or not? Uh, I'm afraid not because of obvious reasons. I mean, Are they the same reasons as why you won't share your age or? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm joking, mate. I'm messing with you now. Although, although yeah, no, there is an IP on my age too. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable then. Understandable. Well, and, and then can I just go back to what you're saying, make it more affordable and affect more people is it embedded into the, the quote unquote the system if i was to let's say go you open in brisbane and i move back to brisbane to australia and i live on the i used to live in a place called burley heads and six times a year i drive up to brisbane um and get get the therapeutic plasma exchange when i sign up to get the therapeutic plasma exchange are you guys going to here it comes again embed into the system that andrew as a result of doing this we need research to help get insurance companies involved we're going to take your data and use it because then that way every new user you have quote unquote your n of let's say in brisbane australia your n of one now andrew joins it becomes an n of two and then his wife emmanuela joins it becomes an n of three are you going to embed that into the system or is that not possible? Well, it, 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 it is possible and actually we are doing it uh, because every person that enrolls in our protocols, doesn't matter where it is, we have clinics in Florida, in Texas, in, uh, you know, several places in California. Uh, all these people are enrolled in a protocol and data is collected from all of them each time they show up. So <clears throat> we hope that this data, which is going to be voluminous within a very short period of time, will help exactly what you said.